These directions, acquired through billions of years of evolution, confirms how important our belief systems are in expanding our awareness, and how they affect our working memory, which is responsible for the extent to which we can make connections and for the neural processes that create meaning. It also explains how artificial awareness will require a network of independent processors instead of a linear sequence of complex algorithms. Athene's grand unification is one solution that unifies quantum physics and Einstein's theory of relativity. While it answers many problems in physics, such as the ones listed here, it is my limited interpretation of his first months of scientific research. Whatever the outcome, it is clear that we have entered an era where science is open to everyone. And if we can preserve unfiltered access to a neutral internet, we can test the validity of our ideas. We can enhance our imagination by making new correlations. And we can be part of the evolution of our understandings of the universe and of the mind. Quantum mechanics, we have learned to approach reality differently and see everything as probabilities instead of certainties. In a mathematical sense, anything is possible. As well as in science as in our daily lives, the extent to which we can calculate or figure out probabilities is determined by our intellectual capability to recognize patterns. The less biased we are, the clearer we can identify these patterns and base our actions on reasonable probabilities. Since it's in the very nature of our brain's left hemisphere to deny ideas that do not fit into our current paradigm, the more attached we are to a belief system, the less able we are to make conscious choices for ourselves. But by observing this process, we expand our awareness and enhance our free will. It is said that wisdom comes with age, but with openness and skepticism, the key principles of the scientific method. We don't need decades of trial and error to sort out which of our convictions may be improbable. The question is not whether our beliefs are right or wrong, but whether or not being emotionally attached to them is more or less likely going to benefit us. There is no such thing as a free choice while being emotionally attached to a belief system. The moment we are self-aware enough to realize this, we can truly work together to figure out the real odds of what will benefit us the most.